I never know how to start talking on videos. <laughs> so, greetings, greetings, everyone. Uh, this is Jim McKeith, and joining me is Ian Barker. You've probably seen hello, us, everyone. Seeing the two of us together a lot, so you probably know who both of us are. Hopefully, I wanted to make a quick video just to make an announcement. That's kind of bittersweet. I will be stepping down from my role with Embarcadero. Uh, no. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't an easy decision to make, that's for sure. Uh, but I did receive a new offer, and really, it looks like an exciting new something new to do, exciting opportunity, and uh, yeah. So that's what I'll be doing. But the good news is, I was an MVP before I started with Embarcadero, and I'll continue to be an MVP as long as um, long as possible, as long as they'll have me. So I plan to be as involved as possible. That being said, um, Ian Barker is going to be stepping in to run the MVP program and the uh, tech partner program and a lot of the other things I've been doing. Like You've seen Ian around. Ian, you've been around a lot uh, as an MVP and then as just working as a editorial and you keep saying yeah, stunt, but, double. stunt double. <laughs> yeah, stunt double. Um, and that's happened a few times. I've been uh, I've been working on the editorial team, so I've been working on editing some of the blogs and some of the white papers and a few other things as well. So I have been behind the scenes, but we haven't always publicised it. But uh, that's going to change because you're slipping off to go and do something exciting. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you've been involved in, you know, usually helping in a lot of webinars and then just hosting things and stuff as well. So... Uh, everybody's familiar with you and you know you're uh you've already been involved for a while so i think it's gonna be a good easy transition yeah and i'm a developer i mean i i always say to people you know i get up every day and i write code and i really mean that so when you're talking to me or we're talking to other developers i i get where you're coming from mostly <laughs> i feel your pain <laughs> I know the difference between tabs and spaces and why it's a political uh, warfare. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just depends. And uh, hopefully, you know, I, I've said this before, it's, it's a difficult role, but I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, and particularly you. Uh, you know, you've been around, this is your 10th year at Embarcadero. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just short, actually, July the 13th, I think it was, or something like that, is the official yeah. announcement. Yeah. But 10 years, and you're going off and... You know, we're going to do a little uh, retrospective once uh, once the dust has settled and all the many meeting requests that I've had have, have uh, eased out of my uh, my calendar a bit. But, uh, you know, I mean, David I and Anders Olsen and people like that, you, you just carried on and went with it and doubled the program. There are more MVPs now than there have ever been. And I think more tech partners as well, actually. I'm not sure about that. But. Yeah, I think so. And I, honestly, I think um, a lot of the MVPs we have... I mean, We've doubled MVPs and we have some amazing MVPs too. I think all the MVPs are amazing, doing great stuff. It's always interesting, honestly, um, when we have a really good release, then all of a sudden I see a lot of people doing MVP-like activities, you know, okay. people that <laughs> I've never seen before all of a sudden will start showing up, doing interesting, cool stuff and starting blogs and stuff. And so it, it, it's kind of one of the indicators I use to determine how good a release is because I'm always biased. But uh, yeah, it, it I, I think the fact that we have more MVPs now is really more of an indicator of the just the number of quality releases we've had. And honestly, I'm really excited for 12. I think the 12.0 release is going to be at least the that's what we're expecting it to be called. <laughs> the new release that's coming <laughs> will be really exciting. Uh, there's been a few blog posts about that. There'll probably be some more. It's still a ways off, but I'm very excited. We'll, we'll right. see. We'll see if we can get you on the beta program, Jim. You'll be okay. Oh, I'll, I'll look fine. after you. Don't worry. <laughs> awesome. Great. Great. So, in addition to Ian, and sorry, my eyes are watering. It's just my doctor's. My eye doctor says my eyes, my tears are not wet enough, and so right now my eyes will just start watering. So, I honestly have not made him cry. Everybody, it's, it's <laughs> not yet. We've we've tried, but it's not happened yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is emotional, but yeah. Um, so in addition to Ian, Eli Mapstead, who's also been around behind the scenes a lot helping run things, will be working on the Python projects and uh, I'm sure other things as well. So he'll be here as well. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to let everybody know I, that I um, this is happening. Uh, it's hopefully going to be a good thing for everybody. I know it's always bumpy when changes happen, but 
I'm optimistic and I definitely were planning on being around uh, and involved as much as possible. Yeah, and you and I are friends anyway, and we keep in touch. And, you know, there's we both said before, even once you're gone, which makes it sound like you're disappearing up to some kind of uh, afterlife. I suppose it's the afterlife after Embarcadero. But, I mean, still <laughs> after you're gone, you, you know, we're still going to be in touch. And I, I shall nag you about things and, uh, and uh, you know, we'll discuss all the horrible things and all the good things that happen in the world like we do usually, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, you're going to do something exciting you want to talk about what you're actually going to be doing because it is kind of a little bit cutting edge i'm kind of it it is so i got i get uh, uh recruiters contacting me usually through my linkedin occasionally and usually i'm just like i ah, go away leave me alone and i had one contact <laughs> one like all right if it's ai or blockchain then i might be interested and they're like oh this is blockchain related web3 i'm like oh all right let's talk <laughs> yeah it, it turned out to be a really interesting offer it's EOS Network Foundation is the name of the company. They're, they uh, run a blockchain, Web3 blockchain for smart contracts, distributed finance, all that stuff that's out there. It's not the uh, uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club, <laughs> but <laughs> it's like the serious stuff. It, it was actually interesting. During the interview, they kind of asked me to kind of want to gauge my uh, feelings about blockchain if I was like, NFT, you know, let's is, he yeah. is he one of us? Is he one of us? That's what it was. It's like, and I was like, no, I'm not. No, I think, not. you know, I think it's an interesting technology, but I'm not, you know, wanting to ride the uh, the hype and make money off NFTs. And like, okay, cool. That's what we're looking for. I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, it was either going to be AI or it was going to be blockchain. Well, those are the technologies that are on fire at the moment. So now, if you can combine AI and blockchain, well, you know, you're, yeah, well, you're on gas. And, uh, there's an opportunity for you. See what I can do. But, yeah. Yeah. Swipe to lock up instead of un uh, swipe to unlock. Yeah. <laughs> so they, yeah. Uh, okay. They, well, you know, I, I, I'm pleased, you know, on a personal level, as a friend and a, a colleague, I'm pleased for you, but, you know, I'm sure I speak for everybody among, amongst the MVPs and all the developers. You're a very familiar face. I think you've been the public face of Delphi for 10 years, probably a little bit longer because, you know, you're a kind of uh, in-your-face sort of guy when it comes to uh, some of the demos you do, like thought-controlled drones, I think, if I remember correctly, and yeah. uh, a few other things like that. So you're going to be a tough act to follow. I've really got to step up a little bit to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might have to paint my hair blue or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, you, you, everybody internally at Embarcadero, obviously they've known for a little while, have said exactly the same thing. Like, oh, I'm really going to miss him. You know, he's going to be... It's going to leave, leave a, big a big hole, hole but, but several, several other people have said, said, but I'm, I'm glad, glad it's you, Ian. So I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. As I said to uh, the general manager, uh, um, it, it's all downhill from here then, isn't it, if I've got a good reputation? <laughs> but, you know, you've done you've done very well. And I, I hope everybody realises that actually Embarcadero, in Embarcadero in general and Idera as a, as a group company, are bigger than just one person. And that includes bigger than me, bigger than Jim, and bigger than everybody. And there's one thing that all of us, Jim and, and the rest of the team, and, and myself as well, have in common is that we believe in the product. We really do believe that mm -hmm. Rad Studio and definitely um, Delphi and C++ Builder are the things that you should be looking at and, and thinking about. And I, I think that's not difficult for anybody to champion at the end of the day. And, and uh, you know, if that's at least I can do, then that's that's a good thing. And plus, I have an Barcadero email address now. We should maybe mention that, shouldn't we? Yeah, Ian dot Barker and Barcadero dot com. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> Gmail will flutter away into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> and all of my emails should be forwarded to Ian as well. Um, at the end of the week, the fifteenth or the uh, I guess the thirteenth is my last day here in Barcadero, so. Yeah, thirteenth of May. So yeah. if you're seeing this a little bit later on in a replay, it may be that Jim's already left. So surprise. <laughs> yeah, but um, as I said before, we keep in touch, and, and Jim and I get on very well as well. And uh, there's no way I'm going to let him disappear into the distance. I don't care how busy he gets at his new job. I keep telling him all the things that go go on uh, in the Delphi world. Yeah, I I will. I do expect that once I start with a new job on the fifteenth. So. No rest for the wicked. I, I never, every time I change jobs, I'm always like, right up, you know, in one job the next day, starting the next job. 
but um, so I start Monday on the 5th, May 15th. I'll start at EOS Network, and I'm sure I'll be really busy for a while just coming to speed with that. So if you don't see me for a little bit, don't panic. Um, I definitely will be be around as much as I can when I'm when the dust settles more and I'm more able to <laughs> more, get my feet under me. The, uh, yeah. it's, gonna take me, it's gonna take me a while to ramp up as well so don't overwhelm me everybody because i've got a very, very big mountain of things to climb including uh so many meeting requests <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. The, i don't know how you fitted the, it all in everybody keeps saying to me jim did do a lot you know he, he did a lot more than people realize and i think uh oh you know that's worrying and as we said before i'm going to be doing the mvp and the tech part and so a lot of those kind of related activities eli will be um, dealing with the php projects uh, I sorry python, python projects slip of the tongue python projects as far as i know there's no php projects in the works I'm no gonna... no 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 I, I i saw it out the corner of my eye mvp and python's right next to it so no, there you no, go no. Yeah, now he'll be doing the, the uh, Python projects. I, I will be um, still doing a lot of hosting because Eli is not someone who likes to do hosting. So you'll still say me I'm involved in P P Python things, but uh, probably as a host rather than actually managing any part of that. So yeah, yeah, and I yeah I will still be involved in the Python stuff too. It's something I definitely want to be involved in. Something I I think honestly I think the Python stuff we have, whether it be the the GUI libraries being available for Python developers, or I think bringing in all these Python libraries for Delphi developers so you can write pure object Pascal Delphi and consume Python libraries, I think is beautiful. I'm very excited about that and hopefully be able to keep working with that as well. Now, because I know everybody's going to ask, EOS uh, Network Foundation, which is eosnetwork.com, it's a C++-based blockchain, and I don't know if it works with Delphi yet. But that's something I definitely plan on testing <laughs> and seeing what I can do to make it work with Delphi. But um, or it, if, if not Delphi, at least C++ Builder, right? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, don't know the answer to that question yet, but I will find out. Yeah. Well, what, maybe we'll have to talk developer relations to developer relations, developer advocate to advocate. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'll advocate for Delphi, and you can advocate for your products. So. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. Well, you know, I'm sorry you're going, um, but I'm glad you're going for your own for your own reasons as well. It's always the way when people move on, but it's good to be leaving on good terms. You know, nobody's got a bad word to say about you. In fact, quite the opposite, and it's overwhelmingly positive. Everybody's desolate that you're leaving, but pleased for you on a personal level. So, you know, I'm I'm glad for you. Yeah, it it it's been it's it's good to leave on good terms. I think everybody's. Uh... And, and who knows, in the future, things might change. I might be back. I don't know. I'm not promising anything. You might be back. Yeah. And I'm happy to for that to happen as well. I should, you, you know, if that happens, I won't be uh, shunted out of the way completely. I'll, there are plenty, there are plenty of other things that I've always done in the past, past as well. So. Well, I hope if I do come back that you're still here too, because frankly, it's not, it would be nice to have more people involved. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, we're kind of like a little team sometimes yeah. when we do these webinars yeah. and things like that i think it works well you know sometimes you find that you gel with people and you're on the same level and i think that that's worked well for us in the past you know it's, it's good and the, and the uh, skier for delphi guys are, are currently in mourning i think <laughs> which is a shame we'll sort that out uh, yeah. there'll, there'll be something yeah. dealt with no okay i'm still optimistic i think you know good things I, it's definitely not a uh it's, it's all on good terms. I'm still optimistic. I think Delphi is going to be, it was around before I discovered it, and I'm sure it'll be around long after I'm moved on. Not that yeah. I can see myself moving on completely, but I spent <laughs> a long time as a C-sharp developer and uh, doing other languages too, and still use Delphi occasionally then. So uh, anyway. Uh, I've never heard of C-sharp. C -sharp. I hear it's quite popular with people who don't know how to program properly. Um, you know. <laughs> By the same guy that made Delphi, actually. Yeah, no, but he only did it just for an April Fool's joke, and it got way out of hand. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bless him. Okay, all right. Well, thanks a lot, Jim, uh, sure. from all of us for everything you've done and everything you know you continue to do. And as you said before, you'll be around as an MVP. That'll be uh, that'll be a bit of a change, but no change at all, really, in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be a obnoxious MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just note you down on the sin bin list. <laughs> All 
All right. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, Just wanted to give you a quick update, and uh, I I would love to have a conversation with everybody, but the reality is there's a lot of people out there that. I just don't have time for that, but wanted to have a little personal, semi-personal video to say, just give everybody an update on what's going on. So thanks, everybody. I've enjoyed this quite a bit. It's been a fantastic journey, and I'm uh, looking forward to uh, doing something new now. So, and See you around, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.